With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Our today's question is, let me explain this question to you. Here, one molar NaOH solution was slowly added into 1000 ml of 183.75 gram impure sulfuric acid solution and the following plot was obtained. The percentage purity of H2SO4 sample and the slope of the curve respectively are. So we have to find two things here. The first one is the percentage purity of the sulfuric acid sample and the slope. Right. So let's consider the graph first of all for the slope determination. Here the points provided to us along this axis we can say are 0, 3 and let's take them as x1 y1 right the coordinates of the second point along this axis are 3 0 so let's consider it as x2 y2 so now we have to find the slope and for the slope determination what we will be taking simple formula we will use slope is represented by m here y2 minus y1 in the numerator divided by x2 minus x1 in the denominator right substituting the values over here 0 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 0 comes out to be minus 1. So slope we have got here, right? The next point that we have to do is to find the percentage purity. For that, we need to first write the chemical reaction between sodium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid. So we would be doing the same here, right? What is happening? Sodium hydroxide here is reacting with sulfuric acid. So it's a basic neutralization reaction, base reacting with an acid and it would be a complete replacement of H plus ions. So I would be getting a salt that is sodium sulfate along with the formation of water. So let's balance the reaction first of all. Two sodium atom for the balancing on the left, we gonna take two sodium here. So for hydrogen again and the oxygen balancing, we have to take two oxygen here. Right, four hydrogens. Now the reaction is balanced. So if we consider the stoichiometry of the reaction, then what exactly is happening here? Two moles of NaOH basically are requiring one mole of sulfuric acid for the complete neutralization. Right, and from the graph, we can see here, if we go back and check the graph, these points, right? For, from these points, we can say that because volume is given us along the x-axis, so we can say here 3 liter of sodium hydroxide H plus ion concentration is 0, right? So, uh, we I can repeat it. For 3 ml of sodium hydroxide, H plus ion concentration is 0 for the complete neutralization, right? So, what we have to do, we will just pen it down simply to avoid the confusion. So, we can say that 3 moles NaOH requires 3 mole NaOH required when H plus is totally 3 mole NaOH is required when H plus ion is totally consumed. Right. This point is clear to us. Now the next point is that from the equation, two moles of NaOH is requiring one mole of sulfuric acid for the complete neutralization. Right. So we can say that three moles of NaOH will be requiring how much sulfuric acid for complete neutralization? That is simple. Three by two moles. Okay. So if we go back and read the statement, it is provided that one molar of NaOH solution was slowly added into 1000 ml of 183.75 gram impure sulfuric acid. Right. So from this stoichiometry of the reaction, we can say that 1.5 moles from this point, we will get it 1.5 moles of sulfuric acid present in impure sample right so converting it into the grams we can say that 1.5 moles if we want to convert it into the gram so we have to multiply the number of moles with the molecular mass of sulfuric acid that will be 98 okay in grams gram molecular mass we have taken 1.5 into 98 gram of sulfuric acid is present in impure sample 
correct? So it will come out to be 147 grams. So we can just simply write it 147 gram of sulfuric acid present in impure sample. Right. So we are also provided with the mass. If we check in the question, what is the weight given to us? 183.75 gram of impure sulfuric acid. So now from here we can directly find the percentage purity. Right. Percentage purity of sulfuric acid. We will be taking 147 grams in the numerator means the amount of sulfuric acid which is present in the impure sample divided by the amount given to us in the question 183.75 gram multiply by 100 for the percentage from here we would be getting 80 percent simply so if we go and check the options slope was minus one and the percentage purity is 80 percent so from here the answer would be option number c 80 percent minus one right i hope you understood it thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.